right guys, we are going to get started on a new project today and we're going to be learning about something called symmetry and also something called radial symmetry. So we've learned about this some in the past. Um, symmetry is when you take an object and you split it in half and it's exactly the same on both sides. So if I were to take myself and split myself in half, I would be the same on both sides because I have an ear, an ear, an eye, an eye, half a nose, half a nose, half a mouth, half a mouth, my teeth, arms, legs. Um, so people are symmetrical if you're like looking at them and splitting them in half the vertical direction up and down. If I were to split myself in half at the waist, I would not be symmetrical. I don't have a head by my feet. I don't have legs coming up here. Um, so I'm not symmetrical if I split myself in half horizontally. Now, radial symmetry is when you take an object and you can split it in half both vertically or horizontally, and that object is still going to be exactly the same on all sides. So take, for instance, a circle. If you split a circle in half, or if you were to fold a circle in half, they would line up perfectly and be the exact same on both sides. Now, if I opened it up and split it in half the other direction, it would still be the same on both sides. So that is called radial symmetry. Um, what we are going to do is actually work with circles and we are going to work with them by folding them and then turning them into snowflakes. Now, these aren't snowflakes that we would um, cut, like the ones that you would cut out we're actually just folding them, drawing lines with Sharpies, and then we're going to paint them. I'm going to do that demonstration in just a second. Okay, so to make your snowflake, the first thing that you're going to want to do is get a piece of your art paper. And then um, I'm using a plate just because it happens to be the size that I need. You want a circle that is... Um, filling up the majority of your paper. And this was pretty perfect for that. So I'm gonna put my plate upside down and then I am going to trace around the outside edge of it like this, okay? The next step is going to be to cut that out and to save time in the video, I already did that. So um, what I'm gonna do is take that circle I just wanna make sure I have it where you guys can see it in my screen. Um, I'm gonna take that circle and I am going to fold it in half as perfectly as I can. So I always get it lined up and then I go straight down the middle and that seems to keep my fold or keep my paper lined up where I want it so I have a nice fold. And you wanna fold it so that that fold is smushed down really good. And then you're gonna open it up and you're going to do the same thing again. And then I'm gonna fold it like this, which I've already folded, so that fold is pretty easy. And this is probably the trickiest fold. Um, just because the paper's kind of thick, but what I want to do is fold it one more time like this, okay? So once I do that, I can open it up and I have eight different parts for my snowflake, okay? Now, this is going to allow me to make my snowflake be that radial symmetrical or um, radial symmetry like I had told you about before. So what I'm gonna do is just start drawing lines, but I'm using the creases that I have and whenever I draw something, I have to draw the same thing on the other half of my circle. So I'm gonna follow this line all the way down. It might work better if you have a ruler just to keep them straight. So I drew it here, which means I have to draw it here. And then I'm going to do the same thing this way. And since I drew it there, 
I also will draw it right here, okay? Now maybe you wanna keep going and do something on this line also, and that line, it's up to you. I don't want all of these to look the same, so you make it how you would like to make it. So what I'm thinking I wanna do is, oh, let's see. I'm gonna start, hmm. I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna make like a loop from this crease over to this crease. But since I did it here, I have to do the same thing on the opposite side. So I'll do it here. And since I did it here and here, if I folded it down, I would have to do it here and here, down at the bottom. And here also. Now to me, it looks kind of funny not to do it in these spots, like here and here. So I'm going to do the same thing there. So it kind of looks like the start of a spider web. Okay, maybe, maybe I want to do Hmm. Maybe I want to do a square in the middle. Something like this. And then from that square, I want to go. Hmm, no, I don't want to do that. Hmm. Maybe I want to go from here up to the point and here up to the point. Since I did it there, I also have to do the same thing here. So basically what you're going to start noticing is that I have to do the same thing in every part of my circle, okay? And maybe that's how I want my snowflake to look. Maybe that's it. Maybe I maybe this is too open for me and I want to add something in there and that's fine too. Um, you decide, but this is all the further that I am going to go for the purpose of the demonstration. So what you would do next once you are completely done is take your Sharpie and Sharpie all of those lines, okay? Just like this. Jory, I'm making a video. And you would do that on the whole entire project. Okay? So, if you have any questions, please let me know.